Can a perfume boost your confidence? How about 10? Let's talk about it. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dice and you are watching Smelly Cat. Uh, thank you in advance for liking, sharing and subscribing and also hitting that bell icon. If at any point you find this video is moving too slowly for you, don't leave. Uh, just increase the speed to 1.5x or 2x so that you can watch it a little faster because sometimes we speak a little slow. Today's video is about 10 confidence boosting fragrances or at least 10 fragrances that I use when I need a bit of a push, a bit of a confidence boost. Yes, fragrances do have the power to change how you feel, including giving you a bit of a confidence boost when you need it. This could range from fresh, zesty notes uh, that put a pep in your step to strong, powerful ones uh, that makes your presence felt. Let's move on to the list. Watch out for number six because that fragrance is on another level altogether. Let's start off the list with Dolce & Gabbana's The One EDP. This is hands down the best romantic date night, cuddle me, Netflix and chill, cozy fragrance of all time. Now I'm not a sexy man, but that doesn't mean that I shouldn't feel sexy, right? And if I ever want to feel that way, this is the scent that I go for. But there's a huge drawback with this one, and that is its, its performance. On my skin, the sillage is intimate and the scent lasts around four to five hours at max. Having said that, my wife loves it, all my exes loved it, so it is a very sexy, lovable scent. A couple of tips, don't go for the EDT, look at the EDP instead, the Eau de Parfum version, which is much better scent, but it also lasts maybe 15 to 20 minutes more than the EDT. Plus, see if you can get a bigger 150 ml bottle of this one, because I've run out of uh, 100 ml bottles in the past, and then I went for this 150 now. Um, and don't be afraid to overspray. Second one on the list is Ibrahim Al Qureshi's Pistachio Musk. This is a very different scent from the rest of the list because this is not boss mode or super sexy or anything. This is a soft, creamy, comforting scent. And with this one, the confidence comes with the comfort. Not a long lasting scent or a heavy projecting one, but one that definitely makes me feel good. Moving on, we have Ganymede by Marc Antoine Barrois. This was a purchase I made on my last visit to Paris and this was my scent of the trip, you could say. I didn't go to the perfume store, I went to the tailoring or the suit shop and when I picked this from there, they threw in a truckload of samples of this one, of B683 and the Extract version. And the samples is all I wore uh, during the trip. So every time I wear this, it takes me back to the Mona Lisa, the Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe uh, and other places we visited uh, during that trip. Along with that, there's an empowering quality to the scent which makes me feel rich, uh, um, especially when I dress a little sharper than I usually do. On number four, I have Ortho Parisi Mega Mar. This is one of the longest lasting fragrances in my collection. It is obnoxiously strong. I never dare to overspray this one because it feels so powerful. But that power is what makes me feel confident and in control. I know that no one out there is going to smell like me. I know that my presence is going to be felt and there's something very commanding about that. Now this might not be for everyone, so make sure you try this before meddling with such forces. Next we have the ever so popular Nishane Hashiwat. One of my go-to office scents, this one. Uh, again, I used to have a 50 ml of this, ran out of it so quickly uh, and then I picked this 100 ml. I remember with both the bottles, the 50 ml and this one, I couldn't smell the 
pineapple that everyone talks about in the first few weddings. It was almost just oak moss and cedar, very strong oak moss and cedar. But once you spray a few times, once you keep wearing it, uh, yes, that pineapple that everyone talks about is noticeable. One of those scents again just makes your presence felt, uh, which is great for a confidence boost. On number six, I have Ibrahim Al Qureshi's Blue Oud. This is confidence in a bottle. Seriously, this scent is on another level altogether. I wear this when I have important meetings, when I have presentations, and it just makes me feel like I own the room every time I wear this. Have a look at my full review on this one. I'm gonna pin it in the comments. From one blue to another, on number seven, we have YSL Lanoui de Lom Blue Electric. A lot of people say that this is uh, discontinued, but hey, this is actually freely available here in Dubai. So maybe a couple of markets doesn't have this one. I've seen it at the official YSL store, Faces, Sephora, Bloomingdale's, all of them have this. So I'm guessing it hasn't been discontinued. This is just perfect for uh, an intimate affair. It is one of those scents like Dolce & Gabbana's The One EDP, uh, which I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, which isn't very really strong on me, but my wife, my close friends, so generally people that I am comfortable getting close to love. And that brings with it its own kind of confidence. Moving on to the next one on the list, Ajmal's Amir One. This is a stunning release from Ajmal and one of my absolute favorite Middle Eastern scents. It is on the pricier side, but honestly, it gives any niche fragrance a run for its money. It's a beautifully balanced composition of oud, citrus, and spices. In the more expensive Ajmal's, you'll find this signature Ajmal Oud, which you will find in this one, and it's balanced and brought forward quite beautifully. This is a boss mode scent, something that someone who commands authority will wear, and that's why it makes my list. On number nine, I have Abdul Samad Al Qureshi's Khashabal Oud. First of all, don't let this bottle confuse you. You'll see that it says limited edition on this. This is the same exact scent as the normal Khashabal Oud, only this one doesn't come in the fancier presentation. Still a quite good uh, looking bottle, uh, just a simple white box that comes with this, a white cardboard box, um, and that fancy presentation is missing, and it's $30 cheaper. That's the only difference. Secondly, and quite funnily, Kashabal Oud actually translates to Oud Wood. But this scent has nothing to do with Tom Ford's Oud Wood. This is a great starting point for someone who's looking to get into Oud or real Oud fragrances. But I won't say that this has 100% real Oud. There is some in it, but I would say it's more synthetic than natural Oud. This one is very unique. It's very woody and it is blended to perfection. To me, it's just the right balance of Arabian royalty and office safe. And I especially love the star anise opening in this one. It's very unique. I have tried fragrances with star anise in them, but this one is just the right amount of sweetness and uniqueness in the top. Last one on the list, we have Aqua Di Gio Profumo. This is an Alberto Moria's masterpiece now i don't have a signature scent but if i had one it would be this one it's got a timeless appeal to it this is a scent for someone who is both respected and approachable at the same time someone like me gives me the right amount of confidence and that's why it makes my list all right that's my list for today thank you for liking sharing and subscribing in advance if you have any questions ask me in the comments and until next time keep smelling amazing mm -hmm.